Hey, greetings everyone. It's Mike, Whiskey Alpha 9, Papa India Echo, or more recently, Victor Kilo 4 Echo India Echo, operating from Brisbane, Australia. So, wanted to uh, talk a little bit about the uh, version 6.7.0.269 release. So, this is the release where we're introducing FT4 mode improvements, and um, it's a very important release. It's uh, that there's information that you need to know about this um, so that you'll understand how it works what you need to do um, it's very standard it's very, like everybody else's logbook is working now <clears throat> and and argu arguably we're way behind on this and I'm sorry about that but at this point we've got it taken care of we want to talk about it make sure everybody knows what they need to do so some things we're not going to cover we're not going to talk about what FT4 is we're going to assume everybody knows that and we're not going to talk about, we're assuming everyone's using Ham Radio Deluxe and that they're either using the direct integration with WSJTX for which we have another video on our YouTube channel for that. Uh, you can see how to set it up and, and use it and so on. Uh, or you're using the JT Alert integration. It's very important that you don't use them both at the same time because if you do that it will definitely create duplicates in your log. Occasionally we get people saying, hey we're getting duplicates every time we create a QSO in uh, WSJTX. What's the cause? The cause is both of these methods have been enabled, so you don't have to enable them both. You can choose one or the other, and we don't have a preference uh, which way you want to handle it. FT4 is a sub mode of F MFSK, and everybody's sending me um, emails and messages saying, no, no, it has to show up in the log as FT4. Um, I'll talk about that a little bit more, uh, but it's actually correct to say it's that, that the mode is MFSK and the sub mode is FT4 but we'll look at how that works here in a minute. I'll show you how to modify the the layout to add sub mode as a field in your logbook because you want to see that and uh, you're gonna have to go back and set the modes to default um, in part of this process and um, I'm going to show you how to use the bulk editor to edit previous QSOs. We'll talk about the upload and download process for Logbook of the World. Very important though as I go through this video um, don't be afraid to stop the video, pause the video, <clears throat> and uh, write this list down of things that we're going to do, because these are the things you're going to have to do to make it work right. It's not complicated, but it's just things that you need to know. And, um, you know, pause the video whenever you need to, go back and try something, come back and start the video, and so on. So um, that's the way to, to take care of it. If you're using WSJTX, like I said, we've got another video on our YouTube channel. This is a screenshot from that video. Um, this is just basically the integration screen within uh, Logbook's QSO forwarding. It shows you how to set it up. Uh, it's what's covered in this video, so if you need that, that's where you go to get that. If you're using JT Alert, you'll want to enable the ADIF compliant uh, uh, logging function here. So here's clue number one that um, ADF compliance means that the mode is MFSK and the sub mode is FT4. That's the way it works out. We'll, we'll talk about how that gets reflected in, um, in your logbook here shortly. Net of it is, here's, here's how it works. <clears throat> that uh, you know, inbound to logbook, um, data comes in with MFSK as the mode and FT4 as the sub mode. It doesn't really matter whether or not it's coming in from WSJTX, JT Alert, could be you're importing QSOs from something else, but that's the state that it needs to be in to come into uh, Logbook. And uh, if you're using JT Alert with the box checked I referred to, or if you're using um, WSJTX with the integration we've built for it, you don't have anything to worry about. It'll get to where it needs to go. So it's stored in the database, and then when it's exported either as part of the upload to, to Logbook of the World or um, you know QRZ log or whatever um, it's put back in those fields. Now you can see here on the screen this is the add log entry screen you can see mode you can see sub mode uh, so generally speaking uh, I would probably recommend you stay away from using sub mode unless you're using it in conjunction with WSJTX or um, JT Alert. Um, just kind of usually, you know, otherwise check the track mode box and, and let it roll. 
Um, but uh, this is just illustrative to talk about, you know, uh, that the fact that this is how it works and this is where the submode field is, and you'll see it there. This is uh, one of our uh, tech support guys gave me this file. This is the file that's created by WSJTX. And on the left hand side, you can see uh, line number, call sign, grid square. Mode and sub mode, so you can see those are correct as MFSK and sub mode is FT4. So that said, let's pop over into logbook and take a look at how this actually works. So I've loaded up a log here. It's got 32, almost 33,000 QSOs in it. It's a combination of CW phone and digital modes. And uh, I'm going to talk a little bit at the moment about how to prepare your log for this, how to update your log entry. So first thing you want to do, and again, pause the video and write this down um, because you're going to want to know this. This has to be done. So under tools, I'm up here, configure modes. Okay, go there. And then click on defaults. Just click that. And then click OK. So let me wait there for a minute while you guys go and, and do that. So if you're back, so we've got that bit taken care of. Now we won't want to do what we want to do is uh, let's add the sub mode to the layout. So you can the layout currently says shows QSO date, time on, call sign, mode, band, but we want to put sub mode in there. So I'm going to click this button up here that says layout. And I'm going to come down here to sub band or sub mode right there. I'm going to flip it over here and I want to move it up so it's up underneath of mode. Okay, we're good there. Now we've got mode and sub mode. Now I'm actually going to hit the width button and it's going to move everything kind of where you can see a little bit better. But you can see right now I got some CWQSOs there, some sideband. That's all fine. It's the right mode. We don't need to worry about sub mode when it comes to CW or phone. But I want to find those QSOs that have uh, that need to be updated. So I'm going to click on the filter button, which is this one right here. <clears throat> I want to find, uh, first of all, I'm going to look for the ones that have um, a mode equal to MFSK. MFSK. And I'm going to search for them. Okay, so I got some, you know, 21 QSOs here. Um, I can hit the width button and kind of move this all out again so I can see it a little bit better. So you notice that <clears throat> the mode is MFSK, but there's no sub mode. And the problem with this is if you upload it to Logbook of the World, when you, when you download it, it's just simply going to say data. It's not going to say FT4. Your logbook's not going to match those, those confirmations. That's the problem that we're fixing with this release. So I'm going to click one of them, and then I'm going to hold down the control key and hit A. Control A. That highlights them all. I'm going to right click, go to File, Bulk Editor, and hit Any Fields. So I'm going to pause there for a moment just so you guys can catch up with that. You right click, File, Bulk Editor, any fields and you'll end up with this at this point I want to click fields which is the button here over here on the left I'm going to add field there's two things that I want to change here first thing I want to change well I don't need to change the mode they're already uh, MFSK but I'll talk about that in a minute so what we really want to do is come down here and change the sub mode so I'm going to find sub mode in the list I'm going to pick FT4 out of this list, click on OK. This is the change I want to make. If I click OK here, it's going to do that. And then what happens is all of the QSO entries or the log entries that I have are going to be um, FT4. So that's perfect. So <clears throat> let me go back. I'm going to change those. I'm going to stop the video I'm going to back in a minute. And I'm going to change those all to a different context that you might see them in and I'll be right back. Okay, so while I paused the video I went back and edited these. There's another condition that can happen is that when they're logged as FT4 mode but they're not in the F, uh, in the sub mode, that can happen too. 
you need to fix those as well so if that's the case then you need to click one control A to highlight them all right click file bulk editor any fields this time we're going to put two fields in there we're going to come and say uh, I want to change the mode field to MFSK right there click OK so we've got one done now I'm going to click the sub mode field and we're going to make that FT4 so before I click OK these are changes that I'm going to make simultaneous to the log so I'm going to click on OK and finish and now I'm going to go back up here and filter for MFSK and I can see that the changes that I just made to put mode and sub mode in there are correct so this is the so again we've covered um, you got to uh, set the mode to defaults you got to update your log with with um, bulk editor so you can end up with mode and sub mode to where it says MFSK and FT4 perfect so then uh, once you've done that you're going to click one right click go up and hit logbook of the world upload you're going to upload these again even if you've already uploaded them before if the mode was wrong they're not going to match or you're going to have to go through some you know, heroics to get the things to match just upload them and I know it's annoying that uh, Logbook the World doesn't allow you to correct entries or delete entries but the net of it is you need to do this so they'll match so do that and click upload okay so it happens that all the uh, FT4 QSOs are at the top of the log that makes it easy in my layout I've got mode and sub mode here I've got Logbook of the World sent so I've sent all these shows me whether or not I've received the confirmation so in order to get the confirmations down, you click download, select your date range, and then you click download. Okay, once you download, you're going to get something that looks roughly like this. It's going to tell you you've got eight confirmations waiting on you. So you're going to save those to the database. That all went without error. Now, I always scroll down here to make sure everything looks good. No problems there. Click on finish. And then you may have to refresh the database by coming up here and clicking on refresh. And when you do, you're going to end up with something that looks a lot like this. So you can see how the matching happened. You know, so for all the QSOs where your 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 called party or your your QSO partner um, uploaded as mode uh, MFSK and uh, sub mode FT4. They're all going to come down in a match. If I go and open one, I can see that you know when I get this one open, here's the mode and the sub mode is FT4. I can come over here to the logbook of the world tab. I can see that it was verified. So that's all you need to do. Uh, you need to understand how it works, why it works that way. Well, you know it was decided by committee that uh, FT4 is a sub mode of MFSK, so we just needed to get it done. So you know that's that's the gist of it. So, 73's from Brisbane, Australia, and uh, I'm Mike, WA9PIE slash VK4 Echo India Echo, 73's.